doing. I hope everyone is doing well. And a special welcome to all the Aries people. Happy birthday to you. And uh, this is going to be a reading that is specifically for Aries. It's a one card reading. And whenever you watch this, um, hopefully it's going to deliver uh, an important or inspiring or useful message to you. And this is not the actual birthday reading that I do on people's birthdays, but that's something that you can commission from me. You can find the details in the description and shoot me an email if you're interested in getting a birthday reading or a complex horoscope reading for yourself or for someone else as a gift. So I'm going to start out by saying a few words about Aries and uh, this is just a general description of the sign, the zodiac sign, and it's important that you know that certain other aspects in your chart can be responsible for um, certain personality traits that perhaps your sun sign doesn't account for. So this is more of a general description. So Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's a fire sign. And being the first sign, Aries is the first uh, one to start the wheel, the zodiac wheel, so to say. And that's very important, I think, in understanding what Aries is really like. Uh, they are people, in my experience, and my opinion, who um, are very extremely action-oriented, even more than Sagittarius or, or Leo, um, who are also members of the fire signs. Um, so Aries is especially uh, interested in experiencing the world and interacting with the world in an active way. So if they have a plan or an idea, what they do is they just go ahead and try to do it. They don't like overthinking things. Uh, they don't like overanalyzing or dwelling on emotions, which can be an excellent uh, trait in certain situations when uh, things just need to be done. So they are the kind of people who will not be intimidated by an obstacle, who will not think that uh, something is impossible, something is perhaps risky. They're very ready to take risks and to jump into new situations. That's when they really shine. This is when they are really in their element. When they can participate or take the initiative in um, in a uh, taking actual practical action-based steps towards realizing a goal. So that's what uh, really makes them so fearless and, um, and so determined. Um, a few things that might be problematic with this um, Aries personality is a lack of patience. Like I said, they are 
really focused on their here and now. They want to accomplish things and see the results immediately for the most part because they are just uh, so passionate and so uh, riled up about things that they believe in and this same lack of patience can sometimes manifest in a lack of tactfulness they sometimes have a hard time um, um, using the correct or least hurtful words to communicate their ideas. They're just very hands-on people. They're very direct and for the most part very, very honest. Um, they don't like complicated feelings. They don't necessarily enjoy uh, dwelling on the past or looking too far into the future. Um, they are very much focused on the present and what can be done in the present to make things better and to get things moving. And so, um, Aries could be uh, an incredibly powerful presence when it comes to pioneering, pioneering things, um, when it comes to revolutionizing um, certain situations, because like I said, they don't have those same concerns as, for example, a uh, an air sign would. So they are less likely to get lost in the details and they are incredibly driven, very strong-willed, very motivated individuals. So if you want to see things get done quickly, you can trust a, uh, an Aries to to do that thing if they are interested in doing it. Otherwise, you will uh, not be able to get them to do it because they are uh, free spirits. They oftentimes have a problem with authority. They find it difficult to just blindly follow other people's orders uh, unless they have enormous respect for them they are very uh, very individualistic very um, headstrong in a way so I'm going to pick one card and I'm using these uh, very interesting uh, round tarot cards. It's called the Mother Peace Tarot. And we'll try to see what the cards would like to tell Aries people. And Aries people, by the way, are very natural and almost always very good at entertaining people because they don't have um, they don't have those uh, inhibitions that for example a water sign would have for example cancer um, cancer people sometimes have a tendency to be withdrawn to keep things to themselves uh, the exact opposite is is true for uh, for Aries they are very open and honest and they wear their heart on their sleeve and will express their opinions loudly and in an entertaining fashion for the most part. So they can be very amusing people to be around. Okay. So I think I have found 
the card. Let me just get rid of the rest of the deck. Okay. So, let's see what the cards would like you to know at this time. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Very interesting. So, we have the Six of Swords here. And I like this deck because it's just so interesting and dreamy and, um, kind of funny in a way, these little illustrations are, they have some, some sort of a humorous um, element to them, and um, the Six of Swords is probably the least fitting card to the um, to the personality of the the Aries people, because, um, like I said, they like to get things done. They like to see progress as soon as possible, and they like to um, they like to feel like they are doing something meaningful moment by moment. And the Six of Swords is a card that, first of all, belongs to the sword suit. So that's, that belongs to the astrological element of air. And second of all, it's a card that's about analyzing and changing direction. So analyzing things, processing the, the information that you learn from your analysis, and moving forward carefully, cautiously, and uh, in a different direction. So in a way it's similar to the Eight of Cups in that it's about searching for a new meaning, trying to find a uh, a different, better, more fitting uh, environment. But in this case, it's about the. It's more connected to the mental plane. So the intellectual, the abstract interpretations of, uh, of life. And if we look at this picture, what we see is six people who are probably shamans. That was the first thought that I had looking at this image. It reminded me of Carlos Castaneda's book about his fictitious or real encounter with a shaman or a witch or whatever you want to call it, and his adventures where he uh, consumed some sort of uh, psychedelic drug and, uh, and uh, he turned into a bird and started flying over the desert. So this seems to me like a similar situation where people are, first of all, they're working together, they're uh, creating a union, utilizing the conjoined force of their efforts, and they are doing something that's impossible something that is that uh, something that 
exceeds the limitations and the expectations that one could have about what's possible, what's viable. And so they are working together and they have figured this out and they are doing it. So they are above the ground and they are enjoying the positive effects of their plan working out. So in the traditional tarot, the uh, Six of Swords would be depicted uh, in a different way. There would be a boat, a little boat of some kind, and a person um, and people sitting in it, and they would be uh, moving towards the other shore. So they are moving away from something. And I think that idea is somewhat present in this image in that they are elevated from the ground and they are experimenting with a different approach to life. So, Aries people, this card is telling you to slow down a little bit even though you are inclined to jump into situations without considering the risks or without making any careful planning or doing any careful planning, this is a time for you to use your mental power, your power of discernment and decision making and work with others. That's also an important thing and it could be difficult for Aries to be a team player because they feel like everybody else around them is so much slower and they just don't get it. So a little bit of patience and cooperation and uh, planning can take you really really far this time. And this card is also telling you that you need to realize, if you haven't already, that a change of direction is needed in your life or in the life of your community. And the way to move away from the status quo, the way to change things around, is to um, have a logical discussion and make a good plan to move forward. This is not a time to take any radical steps towards your goals. Take a step back and listen to others and listen to what they have to say, listen to their input and also give your input to them because then the alchemy of this interaction of this special uh, collaboration with others is going to allow you to take things to the next level, to take off from the ground and to move towards something much more valuable, something of a higher quality a higher quality of life and, uh, and to, to realize the impossible. So what you need to ask yourself is whether there is a goal in your life that you think is unattainable at the moment, something that would be impossible. And this card is giving you the key to solving that problem or to getting closer to realizing that goal. So use your motivation, your drive, your courage that is driving you to do impossible things and find 
a goal that seems next to impossible and work with others to uh, to come up with a detailed and intellectually or logically um, appropriate plan and then use your uh, incredible passion and energy to push through and to take other people with you on this endeavor. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, that you found it useful, and thank you for watching.